The world of DeFi has a lot going for it. I believe we're still early and it's always good to learn things before things get busy. So in the previous two tutorials, I showed you how you could use Orca. And I also showed you DeFi Llama. But now we're going to remove our liquidity from Orca. So up into my Phantom Wallet, I've imported another private key called Orca Pools. I've had tokens in these pools for a little while now. So let's connect our wallet and go harvest the rewards and remove the liquidity. Connect and go to liquidity and then click on portfolio. I've got two pools here, Nana and Sol and Sol and USDC. Let's look at this one first. If we hover over the balance, we can see the amount of Sol and the amount of Nana. We can also see there's a pending yield. Some of that is Sol and some of it's Nana. So now let me work out how long I've been doing this and how much I've either earned or lost. Now I cannot remember the exact date that I entered this and it doesn't give me any information. It does, however, give me the NFT mint address. So if I copy that, Let's see if we can work it out from SolScan. We'll go to SolScan, which is a Solana Explorer. Don't worry, I'll be covering SolScan in another tutorial as well. Let's play along here and let's have a look at the address. We can see the token here and we can see that we minted it three months ago. Let's click on the signature. Here we can see we interacted with the program Orca and we transferred 2.9 Sol and 10,000 Nana. You can see we've lost some Nana but we've gained some soul and we've also got some trading fees. So to work out the value, I'm going to use CoinGecko. We'll go to Nana, we'll find the Nana token. We know it was three months ago and we had 10,000 tokens. This is April 20th. April 20th, what was the price? We cannot see the price here on CoinGecko because it wasn't listed immediately. Let's see if I can see the information from BirdEye. This is BirdEye.so. We'll type in Nana, we'll find the Nana token and we'll zoom out six months. So we're looking for April 20. So on April 20th, we could say it's maybe 0.0086. And the present price is quite similar. So this is pretty good. For the sake of speed, I won't work out the exact difference because it's too small. But we had 10,000 Nana then worth about $86. And now we have 6,275 Nana worth $54. Plus we have another $33 worth as well. On top of that, we've got more Sol than we started with. So after three months, this was a winner. Let's go ahead and withdraw it. I'm going to click on withdraw and I'm going to withdraw the entire amount. I'm going to withdraw this and this as well as harvesting the $33.90. Now you do have the option of moving the slider in case you don't want to withdraw at all. If you move it right to the end, you can then burn the NFT for this position. You might want to keep your first NFT just as a keepsake, but generally you'd remove it and then you know there's no more money connected to that NFT. Withdraw all and burn NFT and approve. We could probably work out how much we earned, but it wasn't super easy. Camino Finance can show us that when we use Camino Finance though, so we can certainly use that in the future. Let's have a look at our Sol and USDC pool. We'll grab this NFT mint address, and we'll go to Sol Scan, and we'll just paste it in here, and then just click address. This was minted four months ago, so we'll click on it. And four months ago, we put in 2.4 Sol and $52.76 worth of USDC. I'm just going to copy this amount of soul and have a look on March 27th and see what it was worth. Solana will go back 180 days. March 27th was about $21. So we'll paste in the amount of soul we had times $21. We put in about $50.76 worth of soul. So we had $56 worth of soul and $52 worth of USDC, about $108 worth of crypto. Now we can see we still have $108 worth of crypto. But because the sole price has gone up, we have a lot less sole and a lot more USDC. And with our trade fees, we've got a little bit of each. So I would say this was okay. We basically earned $7 in four months on only a very small amount. So I'll withdraw it and burn and approve. However, if I want that sole back again, I have to go and buy it because I'm missing some sole and I have more USDC. So that's how we harvest rewards and withdraw liquidity from Orca. The best way to learn is experience. Some say 70% of what we learn is via experience. So go try DeFi farming. Just as a reminder, use a separate wallet address, label it as such. And if you're new and you just want to learn, go put in like $5. You won't make bank, but you should gain a whole lot of experience. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use MarginFi. This is a new dApp on Solana where you can lend and borrow. There are other dApps like it, such as SolLend, but we'll use MarginLend in this tutorial. Go watch that tutorial now, keep learning, stay curious, and we'll see you in that video.